Hey, this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and for this tutorial, we're gonna show you how we added windows to an old shed. We wanted to let more light in here because I'll be using it as an office and we picked up four windows, two for each side. We measured the window and we put it up next to the stud and we marked where the top and the bottom were. Then we drilled the hole through right next to the stud that the window would be attached to. We used those two holes on the other side to draw a line, a straight line of course, up and down and use our tools to just cut through the vinyl siding in a straight line. Now once we got through the vinyl siding and pulled that off, we wanted to cut through the wood behind too. In a normal build, you'd want to be seeing some house wrap here. In this case, we did not have house wrap on this, um, on this shed apparently. So we pushed all that out and at that point, you know, you do have to cut out, cut a two by four that is supporting the roof and your wall. And this means you have to add extra supports. So we're cutting below and above the window to make room for a two by four that goes across. And then we're also adding a two by four to the left side of the window as an extra support in place of the stud that we cut. So at this point, your window is able to be surrounded by two by fours that they can, the window can be screwed into. Now we don't have any original audio for this because the cicadas were out and they were very loud while we were putting these in. Okay, so we've got our window, it's screwed in and it's surrounded by the studs, but now we have to do some work on the outside. We had to trim a little area of vinyl siding away from the exterior of the window. Once we cleared away a boundary around the window, we used something called aluminum flashing tape and we kind of tucked it underneath the vinyl siding as well and that will help waterproof around the window. So at this point, we want to add some trim around the window and we used some PVC trim. So it's primed and painted already. So we didn't need to do anything else. And we attached this on and then used caulk made for exterior use around the window to help prevent water from getting in. And of course, we also added the trim for the vinyl siding, which goes right up against it. And you can kind of screw it in over the under the trim and over the vinyl siding kind of tucks right in there. Here's another picture. And as you can see on the inside, we're also using spray foam insulation around the interior where all the gaps are to keep bugs and air from getting through. Now it's important to remember that through this process, we were using shims to make sure each window was level and just kind of adjusting things so that it was all straight. Here we are, we're gonna look at the difference between the before and after in terms of how much light those four windows or now five windows let into the structure. In the left picture, it's actually a photo taken with the garage door fully open before I pulled off that garage door. So you can say it's a pretty big difference. And here's the picture of the front before and after. The windows really make the space a lot nicer. It lets in a lot of natural light and just generally is just a nicer space now that we've finished it off. Here's a picture of the back. Hadn't gotten the trim on the left, on the right side there yet. But as you can see, the um, back of the shed backs up to the forest. So we do get a little bit of mold and mildew on the outside that needs to be power washed off. Haven't gotten to that yet. Alrighty, well, I hope this was hopeful and gave, helpful and gave you a basic explanation for how to do this project. Um, make sure to follow me, and subscribe to see more videos about our She Shed renovation. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.